Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. Here we go on ESPN. A guy that'll have the world on his shoulders here. Second year man, Quinton Griffin. He was effective in spot duty last year. Can he do it over the course of a long campaign? Buffalo, Denver, straight ahead. The fans are finding their way to their seats, uh, those who really own those seats, as we get set to begin this exciting game. Welcome to Invesco Field at Mile High Stadium. I'm Dan Stevens. My good buddy Peter O'Keefe is with us, and Peter, the story of this one has to be the battle at the receiver position. Well, Dan, when you have two great receivers on the field, you know it's gonna be exciting. Rod Smith, he's a very gifted receiver. He's an exact route runner, and that's crucial for an effective offense because it allows the quarterback to scan his receivers quickly and effectively. Warming up across the field is another tremendous football player, Eric Moulds. He's a magnificent talent. He's clearly one of the very top receivers in the National Football League. He has great hands, and that reliability makes him a favorite target in this offense. Well, better watch out because both of these guys have a chance to make some big plays today. Well, all right, Peter, we'll keep our eye on them as the game progresses, but first, the coin toss. It's tails. Ryan Lindell kicking off for the There's field. the signal, and we're it's ready. Time for Bronco Lindell boots the opening kickoff. Drowns, fields it all the way back at the five. Bang down at the 28. Ruben Drones received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Broncos send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 28 yard line. Lalee goes in motion. Makes the catch out to the left, and that's a gain of seven on the play. Rod Smith doesn't let a little thing like double coverage stop him from snagging the football. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try second next. Three. Ball at the Broncos, 35-yard line. Picks up six on the play, and that will bring up first down. Garrison Hurst got a little help from his friends on that play, Dan. They gave him the space he needed to make the play. Great blocking up front. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Smith goes in motion. Hurst gets the call again, and... Heads left, Garrison Hurst tackled the at the 41. London Garrison Fletcher Hurst the didn't get very far on that last play, and he even had the help of some blocking. Well, I guess the second defense had their number. Not much there. The It'll be second down. Yards. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. <laughs> Hurst one, picks one, up one. a yard on the play, and that will bring up third down. Garrison Hurst got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Hadiz catches it in the flat and has some room to run. First down, eventually runs out at the 35. It will be first down. Goes out a play ball in the NFL. He makes the catch and then works for more yards. That's the kind of player you get the ball to. What a big play on third down, Peter. His run after the catch is what made the play work. Yeah, Dan, you have to fight for those yards in that situation. And that's exactly what he did. First down from the on. Down, 
Plummer throws a heater right sideline and it's incomplete. tipped. Incomplete. Troy Vincent, with Troy the Vincent managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. I'm gonna show you second down, and Rossi. 10. I'm gonna show you down. Ball at the 35. Single back. Single back. Down. Set. for a first down. Jake Plummer throws into a crowd here and by some miracle gets a completion out of it. I don't know how that happened, Dan. Let's have another look. There you go. Well, the D had him covered and they just couldn't get to the ball in time. A perfect pass. You can't coach that. That kind of pass is instinct. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Smith goes in motion. Hurst gains Jefferson three yards, Hurst and that brings up second down. With the second and six. Ball at the 21. Posey sacks him sack. way back at the 26. The Bills are one guy short on the line, but it turns out they don't need him. Three is plenty to get the job done. Check it out. Ouch. Oh, they got through anyway. That is determination. They forced that one backwards, and that's going to make this third down that much harder. And they also make it easier on themselves by wiping out all of the potential short yardage plays they might face. Third and long. Plummer rifles it out left Base side, pass. and they Number get 24. the first on third Defense. and long. Half the distance to the goal, automatic first down. Terrence McGee clearly tugs on the face mask here. You just can't do that and get away with it. Check it out. Yep, there's the flag. Definite face mask. That's a personal foul. Hand on the ball. First and goal. Hand on the ball. ball at the seventh. First takes the handoff and gets past the line. Tackled at the four. Second down, two receivers to the left. Ball at the four yard line. Plummer lobs this to the end zone and it's intercepted. Anderson tackles him for a touchback. <laughs> Jeff Posey does a nice job picking off the pass there. He's got it and he gets a little more with that nice little run back. Boy, that was a heads up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Bills are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Molds goes in motion. Henry will get stopped at the line, and that will bring up second down. With the tackle. Bledsoe throws this on a rope, and he's on target for a gain of five. Third down, tight end to the left. Ferguson tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Nick Ferguson knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning, and they forced the incompletion with relative ease. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Mormon lines up to punt after the three and out. Mormon takes the long snap and punts it away. Smith feels the punt at the 37. Brought down at the 44. 
Rod Smith didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Broncos had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their 44-yard line. Vincent hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. Receiver. Jake Plummer has been searching for a rhythm out there, and he's come up short, Dan. As you can see by these numbers, he's been having a rough day of it. So far, he's struggled to get 53 yards and no touchdowns. Second down, both wide outs to the right. The Broncos, 44 yard line. Plummer dumps it out left, and it's tipped. No good, incomplete. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Third and ten. Ball at the Broncos, 44-yard line. Oh, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on DBs. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Darius Watts dropped the ball so fast there, you'd think it bit him on the thumb or something. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Nor lines up for the punt. Nor gets the snap and punts it away. Brown catches it at the 14. Stop at the 30. Antonio Brown ran it back for a solid gain. That was a good punt, but he really made up for it. First and ten. The Bills stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 30-yard line. Henry chews up four yards, and that will bring up second down. Second and five. Ball at the Bills 34-yard line. Molds goes in motion. Henry will get the carry on second down and maybe picks up one on the play. Travis Henry used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. up to punt after the three and out. Gorman <laughs> takes the snap and punts it away. Smith feels the punt at the 22. Back down at the 32. Rod Smith racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. Broncos will start this first play of the drive at their 32-yard line. First, picked up about seven, and that brings up second down. 
with the Weaver Cowboys. had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now Susie Calber has a report. Susie? Thanks, Dan. The trainers have just informed me that he twisted his knee. They're trying to find a brace that will mitigate the pain, but nothing seems to be working. They're listing his return as doubtful. Guys, back to you. As always, we'll hope for the best up here in the booth. Gets the call again, and heads right down. Stop at the 43. That will bring up first down. First down with the tight end, right. Gains three yards, and that will bring up second down. Yeah! All day, guys! Do it all day! Second and seven. Ball at the Broncos, 46 yard line. The ball's loose! The Bills have it. And this right here is a live ball, and fortunately for the defense, they grab it and gain possession. Heads up play. Peter, there are many ways you can start a drive, but uh, a turnover is not one of them. No, definitely not. That was a big-time play. Ooh, I'm the Bills up, have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at the 40-yard line. Holds goes in motion. up one on the play. Bledsoe really rifles this pass, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Three makes a nice catch and gets past the markers for a first down. Bledsoe zips it to the left sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Second down and four wideouts in the game. Lynch makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. John Lynch swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. On second down, they try for the first but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Check out those interceptions over his career. What a ball hawk. Bledsoe unloads this one well off to the left hand. It's caught for a touchdown. Two throw for you. Check it out. Bobby Shaw has some company on this play, but he still makes the catch. That's good concentration and focus. It's worth another look. Oh, maybe they should have triple covered him there. He'll get the touchdown, and he does it in style. Beautiful play. Brian Let's Lindell go, team. Attempt the extra your man. Brian Mormon holding. Here's the extra point, and the extra point is it's good. good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Lindell kicks this one away. Drowns fields the kickoff at the three. Tackled at the 24. Ruben Drones was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. 
The Broncos fumbled the ball away last time. Let's see if they can hold on to it as they start this drive at their own 24-yard line. It across the line of scrimmage and gains about three yards. Second and seven. Ball at the Broncos 27 yard line. First picks up about two, and that brings up third down. Troy Vincent with the tackle. Third down with a split backfield. Ball at the Broncos, 29-yard line. Wow. First catch on the big sideline, and they convert on third down. Jake Plummer goes right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. A nice gain, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. Slides down at the 45. Second and five. Ball at the Broncos, 45-yard line. Lali goes in motion. First takes it for his 11th carry, and he takes it up field. Chase down at the 44. First down. First down, two wideouts on the field. Holmes in on the tackle back at the 45. Troy Vincent targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his third tackle of the game. Ball at the 45. Carries it for a third time in a row and gains about three yards. Come on, Power. We need a first down. Keep my field. Third and seven. Ball at the 42 yard line. Plummer unloads this to the right sideline, and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Holding. Number 22, defense. Five-yard penalty, automatic first down. Nate Clements tries to contain his man on this play and ends up holding him. That's going to draw a flag. Let's watch. Oh, yeah, easy call. Defensive holding. First down, coming up on the 10th play of the drive. First, we'll get the carry on first down and passes the line. Tackle at the 28. Takiyo Spikes with the tackle. Garrison Hurst lowered his shoulder to make the play here. That's how you break through a tackle, baby. Nice display of agility there. He put the right amount of moves on the D. Great matchup. And the offense won Second that one. Down. Ball at the 28-yard line. Carswell goes in motion. Gets the call on second down, first down and picks up the first down.
Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. There's two's up four yards, and that brings up second down. Let's step it up this Second time. and six. Ball at the 21. Plummer throws a heater right sideline, and the catch is made at the 15. Finally popped out of bounds at the nine. It'll be first and goal. Lawyer Malloy takes the play here, but not fast enough. Check it out. He pushes him out, but past the marker. That will be his fourth tackle, and he's hitting hard out there in the secondary. Well, he's making him think twice before going his direction. Jake Plummer gets it past two defenders on this one. What a throw! It's worth a second look. That's what you call confidence. Throwing into double coverage like that, and, and what accuracy to boot. Peter, that's his first touchdown pass of the game. How do his stats look? Well, so far, he's got 90 yards and one touchdown. Here's the extra point, and... The extra point is good! good. Signal, and we're ready. Elam booms a beauty here. Brown decides to take it out of the end zone. Brought down at the 26. Antonio Brown got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Bills' offense will start this drive at their own 26-yard line. Henry goes right up the middle and maybe picks up one on the play. Travis Henry didn't get very far on that last play, and he even had the help of some blocking. I guess the defense had their second number. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Henry gains three yards, and that brings up third down. down from the shotgun. Bledsoe fires this one over the middle and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Eric Moulds faces double coverage on this play but still comes out with the ball. Nice throw and nice catch. Let's take a look. They had him covered well, but he was That's still able to make the, the catch. Quarter. That guy's a great receiver. Peter, I'm sure he's happy to bring that one in. The last three passes to him have all been in completion. Yeah, he's struggling a bit there, but this may turn him around. And that'll do it for quarter number one, and we're all tied. Five on the play, and that will bring up second down. They're crying out there. Hit them again. They're crying. Second, 
second and five. Ball at the 47. with the tackle. Travis Henry just hasn't gotten into a groove and isn't finding running room anywhere. This has been tough and he struggled to get 16 yards on eight carries. Third, Third down, down, five yards to go. a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Kelly Herndon closed in from the zone and forced the incompletion. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning and they yeah, forced the incompletion with Ronald DeVee. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Gorman gets ready to punt this away. Gorman gets the ball and punts it away. First and the Broncos ten, ten, offense ten, ten, takes the field and they will start out at their own 20 yard line. gains three yards and that brings up second down second down one man back ball at the Broncos 23 yard line Plummer throws a beauty to the right side and it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more Mike Anderson had three guys covering him on this play, and he still made the catch. I don't know if it was a good effort by him or a bad one by the defense. It could have been both. Oh, it's hard to believe that play worked. That'll be his first catch of the game after being shut out the entire first quarter. This is a bit of a slow start for him. Yeah, it is, Dan, but he will see the ball more and more as the game goes on. Smith catches it over the middle and is at the 40. First dimension big tackle at the 21. It will be first down. Rod Smith fought for a whole lot more after the catch back there. Great run. And Peter, that play doesn't get off the ground unless he runs a very precise route. And he had to to beat his man. Couple of the best banging heads there. Cruises out to the left side and the gains carrier. about three yards. Okay, spikes fellas, we know with this the all we can practice. Now we're going to get it this time. Now we're going to go just like it is. We're going to execute, okay. we're going to stay strong, and we're going to get to the spots we need to. Okay, okay fellas? Second, Second down, down, two tight ends in the game. Ball at the 18 yard line. Rip it, rip it. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Pass interference, number 23, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Roy Vincent slapped around the receiver way too much on that play, and the ref let him know it with a flag for pass interference. First and 10. Ball at the 12-yard line. Plummer throws a heater and they can't connect. Incomplete. 
Ashley Roy Vincent did a beautiful job on that last play covering the Roy post Vincent route. With that the pass coverage. never had a chance. Incomplete. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on Second top of it and, and shut it down. Good oh, denial oh, there. Second down coming up. it away on the coverage Izell incomplete Reese with the deflection Izell Reese swatted that one away cleanly the receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one on second down they try for the first but it's played well by the defense that will bring up third down nice pressure that time Plummer fires this one over the middle and it's intercepted Right down at two. the six. I'm coming down. I'm oh, coming. I'm oh, coming. Oh, okay. oh, 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 and this is a nice interception. Check his position out to make the grab. Got it. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Bills are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their own six-yard line. Evans goes in motion. Henry punches this one left of center and maybe picks up one on the play. Travis Henry got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping second for more. Nine. All at the Bills, seven yard line. Henry gets the handoff and hands left. Stop at the 10. Okay, guys, you've covered this before. You know the plan, you know what to do. Stick to the plan. Third down, three wide outs in the game. Makes a tough catch, and that's not enough. He's short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. Josh Reed had to head out of bounds short of the first, and as we all know, it doesn't count if you keep running once you're out of bounds. Peter, they couldn't get the last few the yards they wanted, and now it is fourth down. Boy, a good call, but as you said, they just couldn't get the last few yards they needed. Herman lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Mormon gets the snap and pummels this one deep. Tackled at the 50. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Not a lot of action in this one overall, but even though they're in good shape, a single score can turn it around. They have to stay focused here. Rod Smith returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Broncos were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their 50-yard line. Anderson goes in motion. First, gains five on the play, and that will bring up second down. With the tackle. Second, Second down with the tight end right. Ball at the 45. Single back, single back. Good shot. Most, most. Blue, 33. Blue, 33. Clemens crushes him behind the line at the 47. Nate Clements not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest.
for the lead. Keeps the party going after making the catch right here. And now he's off for more. Coaches love receivers who believe his job is just starting when he makes the catch. That was the first time they even looked long in this game. The question is, why weren't they stretching it out in the first quarter? Chamberlain goes in motion. First, choose up nine yards, and that brings up second down. This is a great run, Dan. Look at the yards he chews up. Peter, he had a great jump off the line. He was in fifth gear before the defense could even react. Motored for some easy Second yards. That's in another run All for him. He's definitely line. getting a workout so far. They're relying very heavily on their running game. And so far, I can't blame them. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. First, has his number called on second down, and gets well past the markers for the first. It's not reeled in. Incomplete. incomplete. Byron Chamberlain, Byron Chamberlain the found a spot receiver. in the middle on that last play, Number but couldn't connect with the, with the ball. No catch. Potential for a nice play there, but no good. That incompletion will bring goal. up second down. Ball at the one. Razor, razor, razor. Go back. Carswell goes in motion. it for his 23rd carry and gets the touchdown. Touchdown Bronco. Here's the point after, and the extra point is good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Elam rockets this one deep. Brown downs this in the end zone for a touchback. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah. That's good work out there, all right, man. All right, yeah. The Bills' counter, counter. offense is on the field, and they have not produced well at all. They're looking for an answer as they start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Bledsoe zings it to the right side, and the catch is made for a gain of a couple. John Logan with the tackle. Drew Bledsoe is showing off some precision passing out there, Dan. Clearly, he's exploiting the short game so far, and he's got 69 yards and one touchdown. Second, Second down with a split backfield. Ball at the Bills' 22-yard line. Goes in motion. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Right there. Oh, oh yeah, baby. Oh, all day, yeah, baby, yeah. Bledsoe rifles it out left side and 
It's knocked away from the receiver, incomplete. Drew Bledsoe might have had a completion there if his man had been open, but with two guys in the zone, it's way too risky. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down game. When you don't convert, it really hurts. Mormon takes the long snap and punts it away. Smith gets it at the 34. Tackled at the 43. Rod Smith did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Broncos will start a drive with the lead for the first time in this game. They'll begin at their 43-yard line. Last him area. back at the 42. Akio Spikes with the tackle. Akio Spikes was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. So far, he's got eight tackles. It's intercepted. Right down at the 38. The Bills haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their 38-yard line. Bledsoe throws a heater, and it's caught at the 48. Finally stopped at the 49. First down. Oh, man, that's embarrassing. Come on, stop them. First down, 10 yards to go. Bolds grabs the fastball over the middle, and he picks up nine. Drew Bledsoe threaded the ball back there to his man right past all that traffic. Good job. That's Second another pass one. that went pretty much down ball the middle. He hasn't been working the sides too much. Well, he's obviously very confident to be throwing into where all the traffic is. He's daring the D to stop him. Fumble! The Blancos have it. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. The Broncos' offense comes out and are hoping to continue their success on the ground. They will start at their 39-yard line. Smith makes the catch out to the left, and he's looking for room. Tackled at the 47. Jake Plummer made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. Terrific throw there. He's gotten off to a very good start today. His team expects nothing less from him, and neither does he. Second, Second down, one. just a single receiver on the field. Yard line. Anderson goes in motion. First, will take the handoff and first picks up the first down. Garrison Hurst is having success on the outside and up the middle here. He's making the defense pay for his flexible running style. So far, he's got 87 yards on 25 carries. it in right side and is at the 20. First down at the 5. It'll be first and goal.
possession in the lead. Adds a bunch to that completion. Watch the replay. There's the grab, and he just takes off. He just loves to see those little white lines go by underneath his feet. That was the second big run in a row that he's pulled off after the catch. What a play. <laughs> he's on fire. Get him the ball again. Check out the yards after the catch. That's where a receiver can earn his paycheck. Hurst gets the call on first down and will lose about a yard here. London Fletcher was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. He's now up to Second six tackles. Goal. Second Ball down, six goal line. to go. First hauls in the pass and picks up maybe a yard. Herndon was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culber has a report Ooh, for us. Susie? Thank you, Dan. Ooh. I just talked to the trainers. They say that he hyperextended his knee. They're trying to find a brace that will mitigate the pain, but nothing seems to be working. They're listing his return as doubtful. Dan, back to you. As always, we'll hope for the best up here in the booth. Thank you, Susie. Plummer zips it to the left sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth and goal. Nate Clements knocked that pass down. And he made sure the only no, one to touch the football was him. They have really gotten pass. after the ball as a Number team today. Eight. That oh. is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive D. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Elam with a 22-yarder and puts it straight through the uprights and good. Jason Elam has no problem getting this one between the sticks for three. Oh, he was so close. He could have made that if he was wearing wooden clogs. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I have a feeling we'll never know for sure. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Elam kicks it off. Brown catches it back at the two. Stop at the 25. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, punting is not going to win you a game. Although it looks like they are trying to do that, they need to put a drive together and get into the end zone. Antonio Brown received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. First and 10. The Bills oh. offense takes the field and their running game has yet to get on track. We'll see if it happens here as they start at their own 25-yard line. Molds goes in motion. Henry picks up about two, and that will bring up second down. Second and seven. Ball at the Bills 27 yard line. Bledsoe lobs this one over the middle and it's incomplete. So he's checking off his receivers, finding the open man, and that's evident as you review the charges. Note the short passes and how that's enabled him to rack up 91 yards and one touchdown. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Forces the incompletion. That will bring up fourth down. Chad Bailey managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. You know, as a team, they are batting down passes left and right. That is their sixth so far. Wow, great anticipation of the pass. Mormon lines up for the punt. Mormon gets the ball and pummels this one deep. 
Smith fields the deep punt at the 24. Brought down at the 35. Rod Smith returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Broncos offense takes the field, and they have been very effective so far. This drive, they will start at their 35-yard line. Smith goes in motion. Smith rips down the lob and tries to get free. And he's stopped right there. Rod Smith had two guys on him on that play, but still managed to make the catch. Another short catch, and that's where they've been utilizing him today. Yeah, the short routes have been open, and he's been exploiting it. Second, Second down, field. both tight ends left. Ball at the Broncos, 41-yard line. Posey sacks him back sack. at the 39. Jeff Posey gets to the quarterback, and nobody lays a finger on him. And then he proceeds to lay a lot more than a finger on him. Yeah, he used all ten and then some. Peter, he's really gotten after the quarterback in this game. Oh, you can say that again. So far, he's got three tackles and two sacks. Third down, Third tight end six. to the left. Ball at the Broncos, 39-yard line. No good. Passes Incomplete. Complete. Fourth down coming up. With the deflection. Nor lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 86 to make the return. Nor takes the snap and punts it away. Brown heals the punt at the 25. Back down at the 34. Antonio Brown racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. First and ten. The Bills can climb back into it with a score before half here. They will start this drive at their 34-yard line. This one will Passes fall incomplete. incomplete with the deflection. Second and ten. Ball at the Bills' 34-yard line. So throws a bullet to the flat and incomplete. it falls incomplete. All day, baby. All day. You ain't get nothing. Third down from the shotgun. it over the middle and is at the 30, 15, 5, touchdown. touchdown. Oh, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Eric Moulds is going to make the catch right there, but that's only the beginning. Look at him chew up the yardage. Wasn't supposed to be a touchdown pass, but he made it one with that terrific run after the catch. He fights for every inch he can get out there so you don't leave any daylight between Ryan him Lindell and the end zone. The extra point. Look, Ryan Dan, Mormon great receiving holding. yards there. That will help your fantasy team. Now the extra point, the and extra point is good. it's good.
There's the signal, and we're ready. Lindell rockets this one deep. Drowns decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 27. Ruben Drones powered downfield for a big game. Hey, who needs the touchback when you can get even more yards yourself? The Broncos are looking for some separation before half and will start this drive at their own 27-yard line. Smith goes in motion. First, two loses two, play. and that brings up second down. Jeff Posey targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That second will be his 12. fourth tackle of the contest. The Broncos, second down, yards. two wideouts on the field. The lead falls in first the down, right side Broncos. and gets past the markers for a first down. Ashley Lalee had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. I'm glad he finally nabbed one because he's had a string of missed catches before this. Yeah, his quarterback obviously didn't lose faith in him though, Dan, because he's kept throwing it his way. Did As you can see, he's up over the century mark. Oh, he came to play today. Lalee goes in motion. First gains three yards and that brings up second down. Okay, what's the plan? Okay, let's go. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Broncos 42-yard line. No good, incomplete. Darius Watts had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. That's his second drop, and he cannot be happy with that. Sometimes the ball bounces Let's your way, and sometimes it, uh, it doesn't. Exactly. Plummer lets it go deep down the right side and it's intercepted. Reverses field. Stopped at the 24. Coy <sighs> Wire does a fantastic job breaking down the play and knowing where to be to intercept the pass. Having help in the zone really paid off for him. Yet another interception for this defense, the and they're the making passing quarter. just about impossible so far. Absolutely. Great reads, great jumps on the ball, great athletes. It's all happening down there. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Broncos with a small lead, 17 to 14. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Broncos should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Jeff Posey is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Bronx midway through the first, ball at their own 42. Ryan Denny would turn things around. Big shift in momentum here as he pounced on a fumble. The defense recovered. The Bills, after recovering a fumble, Drew Bledsoe would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. They strike first and go up by seven. The Bronx answer right back. Jake the Snake Plumber would drop back and put one right on the money. A nine-yard touchdown for the Broncos. Game tied, seven all. Drew Bledsoe would find his target on this one. The Bronx later on in the second quarter, Rod Smith had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. 
the Bronx midway through the second. Game tied, seven all. Jake the Snake Plumber back to throw on third down and a big conversion here as he finds his man. The Bronx still middle of the second. Troy Vincent would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Bronx leading 14 to seven. DJ Williams comes up big here as this ball's out and he's in the right spot for the recovery. The Bronx middle of the second, Ashley Lalee came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. That set up a short 23 yard field goal. The Bills answering right back, Bills trailing by 10. Eric Moles was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. They climb back into the game, now down by three. The Bronx late in the second quarter. Coy Wire is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bronx are holding on to a lead, 17 to 14. And as far as my halftime hero, well, there's really no contest. Eric Mould has played outstanding. So that does it for our halftime report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there. Gentlemen. Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Bills will receive to start the second half, and this is a tight Jason contest. Williams, Currently, the they're down 17 to 14. Let's go down to the field. Elam kicks it, and the second half has now started. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. Let's go down to Susie Culver, who has an update for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. Head coach Mike Shanahan came over for a brief second, and I asked him what he first thought of the first half. Buffalo. He said that they've been passing the ball well despite some drop passes. He's looking for them to play even better in the second half. Dan? Susie, thank you. The Bills will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Henry takes his 13th carry of the game and maybe picks up one on the play. Al Wilson with the tackle. Travis Henry has been searching for a rhythm out there, Dan, and he's coming up short. It seems like his timing is way off. He's working hard, but only has 24 yards on 13 carries. Second down, one man down. Ball at the Bills, 21 yards. Evans goes in motion. Henry gets the call again and he searches for a hole. Back down at the 21. With the tackle. Third down. Bledsoe rifles it out left side and it's off. Incomplete. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Again. Mormon gets Come ready on, to man. punt this away. Formation. Rob Smith to make the return. <laughs> Mormon gets the ball and punts it away. Smith takes it at the 36. Return right eight. down at the 45. Rod Smith did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Broncos have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their 45-yard line. Back 43. Back 43. 
Plummer zings it to the right side, and it's off incomplete. Illegal forward pass, number 16, offense. Five-yard penalty and loss of down. Second Jake down. Jake Plummer was past the line of scrimmage on that play, which made the pass irrelevant. That was an illegal forward pass. Second and 15. The ball at the Broncos, 40-yard line. Watts goes in motion. Watts catches it in the flat and gains a couple. Darius Watts took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. I'm sure he's glad to finally make a completion considering he's already dropped two today. Yeah. Let's make the stand here, baby. There's no fuel left in All their tank. All of the 42-yard line. Chobo gets the sack, the sack way back at the 35. That will bring up fourth down. Don't let him kick it, like Fourth down, and the punting unit is on the field. Number 86 to make the return. <laughs> Nor gets the snap and punts it away. Brown fields the punt at the 23. Tackled at the 31. Antonio Brown didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. First the Bills ten. stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at the 31-yard line. Evans goes in motion. Henry barges off right guard and maybe picks up one on the play. Second and eight. Ball at the Bills' 32-yard line. Evans catches it in the flat and picks up maybe a yard. Third down with the tight end right. So, life is this one hard over the middle, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Hey, if you check out this replay, you'll find a few examples of how these guys earn their paycheck week in and week out, baby. And hey, there's no better way of earning a paycheck than knocking a few heads down there on the field. Foreman lines up to punt after the three and out. Foreman takes the snap and punts it away. And fields it at the 26. Tackled at the 29. Rod Smith didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Broncos bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 29-yard line. Anderson goes in motion. First gets the toss and runs into traffic. No one in front of him. The 45. Eventually runs out of bounds at the 35. That will bring up first down. Garrison Hurst played smash mouth football back there with the charge and, and it paid off big. He gets even more yards on the ground. A productive first half and the second half is shaping up to be just as busy for him. But Philly slows down, there's no reason to change it up. First down, two receivers to the left. Single back. 
First gains three yards, and that will bring up second down. Holds was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culber has a report for us. Susie? Thank you, Dan. The team doctor's diagnosis is that he may have torn his ACL. They're looking at him right now. He seems to be in serious pain. The official word on his return? Doubtful. Back to you, guys. Thanks, Susie. Plummer dumps this one to the flat, and it's caught at the 33, and he's stopped right there. Rod Smith couldn't quite get back to the line on that run and goes out of bounds. They get moved back a bunch there, and that's going to make the upcoming third down that much harder. Yeah, they also wipe out a bunch of potential plays by moving from a short yardage to a long yardage situation. Let's see if they can convert. Interceptor! Intercept Tackled at the two. 21. It's all about getting in position to make the grab and watch here. Oh, that's perfect position. Boy, that was a heads up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Bills are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their own 21 yard line. Takes his 16th carry of the game and chews up about four on the play. Travis Henry has been battling the D, but the D is winning this one. Look at this. No real yards to speak of anywhere. Tough game. He's only got 29 yards on 16 carries. Second and six. Ball of the Bills, 25-yard line. Reed goes in motion. Evans has the bullet, and that will be a gain of three yards. The Evans faced single coverage there and was able to get by it for the reception. That's how you draw it up. Peter, I'm sure he's happy to bring that one in. The last three passes to him have all been in completion. Well, he's struggling a bit there, but this may turn him around. Bledsoe floats it to the right side, and it's tipped. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. John Mobley knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. Another battered ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Norman lines up for the punt. Norman takes the long snap and punts it away. Smith fields the punt at the 29. Drag down at the 31. Rod Smith got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Broncos were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at the 31-yard line. Smith goes in motion. Plummer throws a lob right sideline, and it's Passes tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. Yeah, Lawyer Malloy, Malloy came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Second and 10. Ball at the Broncos, 31-yard line. sideline and it's good for a gain of 10 on the play with the tackle ashley lalee made the catch without any challenge from the defense and he took advantage of it. another great catch and peter he's been working that right side of the field with good success yeah it looks like he's found a weakness and uh, he's going to exploit it well those are some impressive numbers look at those receiving yards <laughs> Catch 
on the right sideline, and he picks up nine. Jake Plummer played the pass perfectly, zeroing in on his man despite the coverage. You know, it's all about accuracy in that situation. Another beautiful throw Second here in the third, one. and he has been on game so far. Yeah, what a boon to have a general like that on your side. First, first he's up four Bronco. yards, and that brings up first down. Garrison Hurst just slammed through the D on that play for a few extra yards. Hey, that's what I call a charge. They get the first, but Peter, they didn't have far to go out there, did they? No, they didn't. That's the good thing about second and short. You got a lot of options. First and ten coming up. First down from the eye. Posey makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Jeff Posey knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Second Good denial there. there. Second down Ball coming up. Plummer lobs this one a bit, and this one That's is incomplete. With the deflection. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We're bringing it. I'm bringing it. Yeah. We need a Told you. Third and ten. Whoa. Look at all the interceptions there. Santiago goes in motion. No good. Incomplete. That will bring up With fourth down. Don't Nor gets ready to punt this away. Number 86 to make the return. <laughs> Nor gets the snap and punts it away. Takes it at the 11. Stopped at the 14. Antonio Brown fielded the ball, and although he was dropped pretty quickly, that terrible kick gives him some good field position. First and 10. The Bills offense takes the field, and they have a way to go. They'll start at their own 14-yard line. Aiken goes in motion. Henry catches it in the flat and tries to get free. Runs out at the 17. Travis Henry had a defender close by but was able to bring down the catch. Definitely a slow start, but he's finally Second got a completion. Six. And maybe now, Our Peter, he has time hard. to make his mark on the game. But where was he in the first half, Dan? Because I didn't notice him on the field. Oh. Henry picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up third down. Wow, look at those tackles. That's how you play sideline to sideline. Wilson tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Al Wilson couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. That's his third batted ball. And he is doing his part, that is for sure. Nice to see aggressive D like that, Dan. Mormon lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Mormon takes the snap and punts it away. Smith fields the punt at the 41. Brought down at the 43. Rod Smith didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Broncos had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their 43-yard line. Lalee goes in motion. It 
It's intercepted. Tackled at the 47. Jeff Posey made an incredible interception back there. He was in single zone coverage and read that play from the get-go. Peter, you couldn't ask for more from him today. He has done his part. And then some. So far, he's got two interceptions. Coach Shanahan doesn't agree with the call, and we're going to see the red flag. Hey, we want to challenge. Denver is challenging whether the passer threw the ball after crossing the line of scrimmage. This is All their right. first what challenge of the game, and okay. even if they All lose right. this one, they still have one challenge left. Well, this camera angle should be able to show us if he's actually past the line of scrimmage or not before he threw this baby. This is great camera work. Yep, he looks past the line to me. They are going to win review, this challenge. It is ruled an illegal forward pass past the line of scrimmage. The offense will be penalized five yards from the spot of the pass. Denver will not be charged a timeout. Second down. He likes the call, and you sort of have a feeling that he knew it all along. Second down, Second down and five wide receivers take the field. the rope right side and is at the 50 blocked out hard at the 45 that will bring up first down Ashley Malie makes the catch but that's not enough for him he gets it and takes off for more great job fighting for that first down he didn't waste any time well just because the pass is short of the markers doesn't mean he can't run it the rest of the way he's a true competitor well check out the passing performance here Talk about yards. Smith goes in motion. First, get the handoff and maybe Harrison picks up one on carrier. the play. Aaron Schobel with the tackle. Second and nine. Ball at the 44 yard line. Hurst dodges this one way out right and picks up a couple. Let's go, Broncos. Let's get that first down. Third down with a split backfield. Ball at the 42 yard line. Plummer throws a bullet and the ball is caught at the 26, hunted down at the 24. Face mask, number 33, defense. Five-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. Izell Reese grabs a little too much face mask on this play and it costs him a flag. Let's watch. Yeah, it's only a five-yard penalty for this face mask. I'm pretty sure that was unintentional. Well, look there, he's up over 300 yards for the day. Ball at the 19. Anderson catches the ball over the middle and gets past the markers for a first down. Mike Anderson is just crazy good on this play then. He refuses to be intimidated by triple coverage. I would have tried to throw somewhere else, I think. Oh, but it didn't matter. He made the catch. Great job. First, picks up about two, and that will bring up second down. With the tackle. Garrison Hurst got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Not a lot of room. Second down. Second down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Hurst gets the call on second down and maybe picks up one on the play. Third and goal. I see play action. 
Ball at the three. Kelson gets the sack way back at the nine. That will bring up fourth and goal. Let's go. Jason fourth down, Jason goal to go. Number 13, holding. Elam from 26 yards out and it's up through the goal post. Good. Jason Elam has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. There's the signal, and we're ready. Elam booms a beauty here. Brown downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Bills haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 20-yard line. Evans goes in motion. Henry gets the call on first down and chews up about four on the play. Willie Middlebrook with the tackle. Second and six. Ball at the Bills' 24-yard line. Henry gets the call again and maybe picks up one on the play. Third down, five yards to go. Forces the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Willie Middlebrooks got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. Another batted ball. Give and they have been attacking the pass well every the chance they ball. get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Norman lines up to punt <laughs> after the three and out. Norman takes the long snap and pummels this one deep. Smith fields the deep punt at the 29. Tackled at the 47. The Rod Smith didn't get phased by that mammoth punt. He read the field, Dan, and managed to minimize it with a solid run back. The Broncos' offense has been effective with the long passes. Will they keep it up? Well, we're going to find out as they start off at their 47-yard line. Lalee goes in motion. First, two's up four yards, and that brings up second down. Second, Second down, down tight end to the left. Ball at the 49. Posey tackles him behind the, the line carrier. of scrimmage. Jeff Posey targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got eight tackles and two sacks. Lalee didn't haul that one in, and it Ashley falls Lee incomplete. Fourth receiver. down coming up. Troy Vincent. Ashley Lalee positioned himself on the outside back there, but the ball didn't position itself 
in his hands. No catch. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. His play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down game. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Nor gets the ball and punts it away. First the Bills ten, ten, offense ten, ten, takes ten. the field and their running game has yet to get on track. We'll see if it happens here as they start at their own 20-yard line. Henry will get stopped at the line, and that will bring up second down. Travis Henry used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. He's not made second much headway up the middle, although it's not for lack of trying, and that's for sure. They can't get effective blocking there. you got to go elsewhere. Bledsoe ports this to the left sideline, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Drew Bledsoe launches this one perfectly, and the D was nowhere to be found. You got that right. Missed coverage all around. That's right, Dan. My six-year-old could have covered that pass better. What a First pass, and, and he is generating oh, some yes. great oh, numbers. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 184 yards and two touchdowns. Aiken goes in motion. Wilson tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Al Wilson came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. He records yet another batted ball, and I'll tell you, he's really playing well out there. Yeah, he's been after the ball from the beginning of the game. Real aggressive play. Second down and four wideouts in the game. Bledsoe zings it to the right side, and it's intercepted. Stopped at the 29. Lenny Walls not only shanghais the football for the interception, but watch. Gets a few more after the catch. Great play all around. To react, make the catch, and then get some yardage to boot. You can't coach that. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Broncos start this drive already in field goal position, and they're going to line up at the 29-yard line. Anderson hauls it in right side and is well past the markers for a first down. Illegal forward pass, number 16. Offense. Five-yard penalty and loss of down. Second Jake down. Jake Plummer was past the line of scrimmage on that play, which made the pass irrelevant. That was an illegal forward pass. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Broncos are out in front, 20-14. Second and 14. Ball at the 34-yard line. Hurts gets yet another carry for the day and will lose about a yard here. Peter, unfortunately, we've had some players banged up so far. Unfortunately so. Well, there they are. Today's injuries and both teams have lost some players. This is where the bench needs to step up and do their job. Sam Adams was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That will be two losses in a row. Great reads by the D on the last two plays, Dan. Third down, empty backfield. Vincent tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Troy Vincent swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Fourth yard down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Elam launches the 52-yard attempt, and 
just makes it inside the left upright. Jason Elam really gets the whole ball here, and he needed it. Watch. That's a powerful kick for three points, my friend. When he needs to, he can boot that thing. That field goal makes him three for three out there. Hasn't missed one yet. And you can't coach that. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Elam booms a beauty here. Brown decides to take it out of the end zone. Brought down at the 24. Antonio Brown got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. First and 10, Buffalo. Goes in motion. Bledsoe throws a big high lob and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Number 84 was the Champ Bailey receiver. wasn't going to let this Champ one slip Bailey by. He the had his man covered to the T. That's great coverage. Let's check it out. And the pass is incomplete. Next time, the quarterback won't be so lucky. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Ooh, Good denial do there. Way. Second down coming oh, up. Bills 24 yard line. made at the 39 finally dropped at the 44 first down Lee Evans made a fantastic catch in double coverage keep getting him the ball guys the balls are coming his way in the middle and he's making them pay you have to like his performance so far well then I like any receivers willing to go over the middle and sacrifice the body to make the catch first down one man back the ball's loose the Broncos have This right here is a live ball, and fortunately for the defense, they grab it and gain possession. Heads up play. Peter, there are many ways you can start a drive, but uh, a turnover is not one of them. No, definitely not. That was a big time play. The head coach is not happy with that call, and he's going to challenge it. Hey, we want to challenge. Buffalo is challenging whether it was a backward pass. This is their right, first challenge of the game, and okay. even if they lose right. this one, they still have one challenge left. Dan, we've got to look at the pass itself and see whether the ball is moving forward or backwards. That will tell us what happens to the call. That looks like a lateral to me. I, I think they're going to lose this After challenge. After review, the play stands. It was a backwards pass and therefore a fumble. Buffalo will be charged to timeout. First down, Denver. That will cost them a timeout, and you have to believe that he is not very happy with that call. Yeah. Let's do it. Right. The Broncos want to capitalize on the fumble, and will start this drive at the 39-yard line. Smith goes in motion. Hurst loses one on the play, and that brings up Jeff second Posey down. With the tackle. Jeff Posey targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his ninth tackle second of the game. Ten. Ball at the 40-yard line. Smith catches the heater left side. 
sideline and is past the first of daylight. First down and goal goal. at the two. It'll be first and goal. Rod Smith is going to make a great play right here. Snags the football and then really turns on the juice. Another short catch, and that's where they've been utilizing him today. Yeah, the short routes have been open, and he's been exploiting it. First down with two tight ends to the right. Lee goes in motion. First, bulldozes right of center and picks up a couple. Mike Anderson. Second and goal. Like power, baby. Ball at the one. Anderson gets the ball and gets in for the score. Touchdown, Bronco! This is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. That touchdown is going to establish some distance between them, Peter. That's a big score. <laughs> now the point after, and the extra it's point good. is good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Elam rockets this one deep. Brown decides to take it out of the end zone. Right down, down at the 22. Antonio Brown took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Bills have turned the ball over the past two times out. They need to hold on to it as they start this drive at their own 22-yard line. Bledsoe fires this one over the middle, and it's tipped incomplete. Al Wilson came in and got a hand on that football. Left no chance for a reception there. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. Second That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Catches the left sideline, and that's a gain of seven on the play. Drew Bledsoe lived dangerously on that play with a pass into double coverage, but the throw was on target. What a pass. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some game there, but not enough for the first. Yeah, Marlon lines up to punt after the three and out. Yeah. Mormon takes the snap and pummels this one deep. Smith gets it at the 25. Tackled at the 27. Rod Smith got pinned deep by a beauty of a kick there, and by the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. The Broncos offense takes the field, and they will start at their own 27-yard line. has his number called on first down and shoots forward for nine yards. Garrison Hurst gets aggressive here. 
Ow! Nice stiff arm. Peter, those were some nifty moves to get free. In that matchup, he doesn't Second even need to dig down that deep to pull it off. Broncos, Second down line. and less than a yard. Garrison Hurst was assisted on that play by some great blocking that opened up holes for him. Without those blockers, he would have been toast. Again, he gets the ball, and they have stuck by the run all game. Peter, why so run heavy up to now? Well, it's worked. Simple as that. If they can't come up with an answer, keep running it down their throat. Anderson goes in motion. Hurst takes it off the toss and gets past the line. Tackled at the 45. Garrison Hurst has had good success when taking it out past the tackles where he can find some room and turn on the Jets. He's doing his part and look at the numbers here. So far he's got 161 yards on over 30 carries. Second and seven. Ball at the Broncos, 45-yard line. Hurst takes this one way out left and heads wide left. 25, 15, high, and he's in for the touchdown. Garrison Hurst finds the hole on this one and gains some good yardage. Wow, great blocking on that play. Another trip to the end zone, and his numbers are starting to add up. Oh, you bet, Dan. So far, he's got 217 yards and two touchdowns. Come on, D. No Look at that. Over 200 yards. Dead. Incredible game so far. Here's the extra point, and it's the good. The extra point is good. Gets the signal and we're set. Elam booms a beauty here. Brown decides to take it out of the end. Tackled at the 21. Antonio Brown took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20. So it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Bills haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 21-yard line. Bledsoe just rifles this one, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Second down with the tight end right. This one will fall incomplete. Drew Bledsoe winged it into double coverage, but luckily nobody was able to catch it. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete and it will be third down. So rifles it out left side and it's intercepted. Forced out at the 24. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. You all right? You all right? Check this out. You see this right here? You feel this? All right. 
I had hurt. Right there, right there. Don't worry, just. Oh, oh, you're gonna be alright, man. You're gonna be alright. Let me help you out. Let me help him out. Come on. You gotta get. Come on. I need you. Gotta get back to us. Come on, let's go. You think I'm gonna be alright to play? The Broncos will start this drive all the way down at the 24-yard line. Lali goes in motion. Posey makes the hit in the backfield at the 25. Jeff Posey was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got 11 tackles and two sacks. Hey, Dan, way to pick up yards after the first hit. Reese tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. With the tackle. Izell Reese was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Another tackle, and it seems like we're always calling his name. What a hitting machine in the secondary. He's definitely carrying his weight back there. McGee makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. The that will bring up fourth down. Terrence McGee got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Fourth down, 11 yards to go. Elam with the 43-yard attempt, and it's good. Danny Cannell handles this high snap perfectly. Sets up the ball. There's the kick, and it's good. Three points. That's his fourth field goal of the game, and he has generally looked pretty good. He's doing his part, and that's what you want from a kicker. There's the signal, and we're ready. Elam rockets this one deep. Brown decides to take it out of the end zone. Brought down at the 22. Antonio Brown got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Bills were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 22-yard line. Bacon goes in motion. Takes it across the line and chews up about four on the play. Second and six. Ball at the Bills' 26-yard line. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Ryan Newfield dropped the ball so fast there, you'd think it bit him on the thumb or something. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. Third down from the shotgun. So throws a heater and it's intercepted. Stopped at the 36. Oh, check out this replay, Dan. Watch the focus here. He's got it, and I must say that was some clever maneuvering to get into a position where he could pick it off. You can't coach instincts like that. That's their third interception of the game, and Peter, the D is homing in on the passing game. Yeah, tough play. I love it. The Broncos have a short field and will start this drive at the 36-yard line. carry for the day and choose up about four carrier. on the play. Izell Reese with the tackle. Look at the numbers six. generated on the ground. The that is impressive. Down. Larry, Larry, Larry. Shot. 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 
Fires barrels off his left guard and maybe picks up one on the play. Garrison Hurst stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Medes goes in motion. Hurst gains five on the play, and that will bring up fourth down. with the tackle. Kevin Thomas made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his third tackle of the game. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Elam with the 44-yard attempt and squeezes it inside the right goal post. Jason Elam hits the field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more inches and he'd have made the highlight reel. Not the way he would have wanted to, though. Tremendous job. He's been booting them through all day today. You know, Dan, he's actually turned out to be one of the leading scorers for this team. Yeah. And he has to do it three points at a time. Exactly. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Elam rockets this one deep. Brown downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Bills offense takes the field and their running game has yet to get on track. We'll see if it happens here as they start at their own 20-yard line. Bacon goes in motion. Bledsoe throws a bullet to the flat and he connects at the 18. Travis Henry has completed. down at the 25. 52 with the Reed had to leave the field earlier in the game and now Susie Calber has a report. Susie. Thanks, Dan. I just talked to the trainers. They said his forearm is in quite a bit of pain. They're looking at him right now. He seems to be in serious pain. The official word on his return, doubtful. Back to you. Thanks, Susie. Carry on second on down and gains about three yards. Bledsoe dumps it out left and they can't connect. Incomplete. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We're bringing it. I'm bringing it. I just bounce. Come on. Come on. I just bounce. This one falls Passes incomplete, and they will turn the ball Number over on down. The intended receiver, Champ Bailey, with the coverage. Try to slither the Broncos the offense takes the field, and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? Well, they'll start this drive at the 27-yard line. Anderson goes in motion. Gains five on the play, and that will bring up second down. Screen. Second and four. Watch the screen. Look at screen. Ball at the 22-yard line. Down. Razor, razor, razor. Go 26. Go. Listen Go. up. Go 26. Hey, I got this. Hut, hut. has his number called on second down and he picks Garrison up a Hurst couple the ball carrier London Fletcher with the tackle third down and they line up with three tight ends 
Go back! Blue Go back! Check two! Check two! Check two this side! Check two this hut, side! Hut, hut. Rips him down in the backfield, and that takes them even farther away from the markers. It'll be fourth down. Jeff Posey was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Another tackle, and he's literally left his mark on people so far. <laughs> yep, big black and blue marks, Dan. Let's get ahead Jason of Elam. Check it out. That's a confident kicker's Number stats. 13, holding. <laughs> Elam kicks from 37 yards out, and it's good. Jason Elam rockets this one in for a clean field goal. Let's see it again. He's got plenty of room on either side. Great accuracy there. Well, you could have backed up that one 10 yards or so. He still probably would have made it. Yet another one connects. He can do no wrong out there. It's all about focus, Dan. No matter what the situation is, all he sees is a football and the uprights. Elam booms a beauty here. Number 19 decides to take it out of the end zone. Stopped at the 19. Number 19 got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. Buffalo. The Bills' offense comes out, and they are way down late in the game. They'll need some magic as they start this drive at their own 19-yard line. Henry didn't Francis haul that incomplete. one in, and it falls Travis incomplete. Henry was the intended receiver. Travis Henry had some room on the Marco fringes Coleman there, the but cover. couldn't reel in the pass. Not much success to be had on the right side for this passing game, Peter. They have been off over there. Yeah, I'd go somewhere else if I were them. Ball at the Bills, 19-yard line. So zings it to the right That's side, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Lenny Walls managed to disrupt things. He got in there, and he smacked that pass away. Great deal. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Grabs the fastball over the middle, and the they get the Three first yards. on third and long. Bledsoe throws a bullet, and it's caught at the 46. 35, first eventually down. tackled at the 28. It will be first down. Down! Reels in the football and he picks Has up nine. Down. Number 58 with the tackle. Larry! Larry! Bledsoe zings it to the right side the and it's incomplete. tipped. Incomplete. Sam Brandon managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great deal. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. First down, Bill. First down, First tight end 10. to the left. Ball at the 17. Down! Set! Red 52! Red 52! Bledsoe just rifles this one, and this one That's is incomplete. incomplete. All day, baby. With the deflection. All day, you ain't getting nothing.
second down. Yeah, the second clock is stopped at 157. Henry has this one fly off his fingertips incomplete. Travis Henry got a hand in there, but only enough to tip it away. <laughs> frustrating. That's the third incompletion his way, Peter. Yeah, and he's starting to look a little frustrated down there, too. to the right First side down. the Time Bills will take a timeout that's their second First and goal ball at the five Kennedy makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Kennedy, Kennedy came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Second down, goal to go. So ropes this to the end zone field. and on, it's it caught up, for a touchdown. Mark Campbell had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. Well, that touchdown looks like the classic case of a little too late, Peter. Yep, the game got away from him early on, and now there's just not Brian enough time Rizzo. left to make anything happen. Brian Mormon holding. <laughs> Now the extra point, the extra and point is good. it's good. They're setting up for the onside kick. Lindell bounces it up. Watts gathers it up at the 39. Dragged down at the 38. Darius Watts is quick to react when the onside kick comes bouncing his way. Watch him move. And get the football before the kicking team has a shot. It's all about reflexes. A gutsy call, and when you live high stakes, you win big. Or you lose big. Well, they lost, and now we'll see how they recover. Oh, look at those numbers. That's how to get it done on the ground. Griffin. The Bills take a timeout. That's their final one. Second, Second down, eight. both tight ends Ball left. 36 yard line. Griffin gets the call again, and he's stopped. The clock continues to run. Takeo Spikes with the tackle. We almost got him. Third and three. Ball at the 31. I got 13. I got 17. Down! Set! Blue 56! Blue 56! Loss of two yards on the play. Jason Elam to make the check it out. Ten. That's a confident kicker's stats. Holding. Holding. 
Elam boots it from 50 yards out, and it's through the uprights. Jason Elam nails it from a long ways away. I think that's just inside his range. Barely. I'm thinking there's not too many kickers in this league who can make that with any consistency. Well, I mean, let me put it this way, Dan. If you have to have someone standing near the goalposts to let you know you made it, that's a long kick. Tremendous job. He's been booting them through all day today. You know, Dan, he's actually turned out to be one of the leading scorers for this team. Yeah. And he has to do it three points at a time. Exactly. Hammered down at the 21. Antonio Brown got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Bills start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 11. Bledsoe rifles it out left side, and the catch is made for the first. The clock continues to tick down. And that is going to do That's it for this one. The Broncos come out on top, 49 to 21. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Dan, thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN video game post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Broncos stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Garrison, first I look at the Hurst, is going to take this one to the outside. And once he gets the corner, hits a foot break. The ball at their own 42. Jeff Posey was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. That set up a 37-yard field goal. Bills down by six. Lenny Walls is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Bronx have it off an interception. Jason Elam get the call for the lengthy field goal attempt, and he would in fact deliver a 53-yard field goal. Bronx winning 23-14. Lenny Walls would snuff out a drive on this one. It's a fumble. There he is for the recovery. The Bronx in control after a fumble recovery. Ball at the 41. Rod Smith ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. A 38-yard play that set up a Bronco touchdown. Bronx leading by 16. Garrison, first I look at the Hurst. Find some running room on this one. Then it was off to the races. They've opened it up now, and now lead by 23. The Bills on defense. Willie Middlebrooks shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Bills losing 37 to 14. After driving 14 yards on three plays, Jason Elam is summoned for the field goal attempt. Good snap, good spot, good kick. Three goods equals Three points, a 44-yard field goal. The Broncos have opened it up and now lead by 26. After driving nine yards on three plays, Jason Elam would come on and connect on the field goal try. Connect for field goal number five here. The Bills trying to answer back. Bills losing by 32. Bobby Shaw found a soft spot on the defense and it worked to his advantage. They close in a little. They're now down by 25. The Bronx come right back. Jason Elam sets up for a long one here. He's got plenty of oof behind this one. It's through. A 51-yard field goal. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bronx win big, 49-21. to 21. Now let's talk to a player who was instrumental in their dominant running game and is our player of the game. Garrison, first I look at the Hurst, is standing by with Susie Calvert. Suze? Thank you, Chris. You really showed up today, and you prevailed with a big victory. What made the difference for you guys to come out triumphant today? You know what? Somebody was really looking out for us today, above and beyond. We were just blessed to come up with the win. I'm just very thankful and happy that we came out on top, and now we have to look forward to next game. Chris, back to you. 
That concludes our presentation of the NFL preseason on ESPN. Celebrating its 25th anniversary as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. See you next time. Yeah. <laughs>